don't cry, Lise. We have to do what mommy said. We have to go out of the forest and find people. Because mommy isn't going to wake up anymore. So we have to stay together. I promise I will take care of you. Do you want to hold this? Sorry, what did you say, Lise? Gregory, can I ask you something? Of course, anything. I know what happened to our mother, but what happened to our father? Oh, um... <sighs> hey, are you okay? Y you don't have to talk about it. It's okay. Um, I remembered being pretty jealous when you were born. I thought mom and dad were giving you way more attention than me. That was of course not the case. But dad promised me he would take me on a hiking trip. Just him and me. He would even give me his golden pocket watch if I made it to the top. It was a great day, but on the way back I slipped. He saved me in time, but he fell instead. I couldn't find him anywhere, so I rushed home to mom. She tried many times to teleport to him. But it didn't work anymore. It's all my fault. Gregory, no! No, you were just four years old! It was no one's fault. It was an accident. Even though we couldn't get mom back, at least we're together. Oh, uh, before I forget, are you also coming to the party this Friday? What kind of party? It's for everyone we met in the anima forest. A Halloween divas party. You can come in costume, but it's not necessary. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll be there. Ah, oh, great! Hey, is that smart fox girl also going to be there? Do you mean Felicia or Fulpini? Um, but I guess so. I sent them both an invitation. <laughs> Great! Aww, what is it, cutie? She wants a snack. Well, shall we get you one then? Be right back. Uh huh. What are you doing here? Huh? You stay away from her! Hey, chill out, man! Uh. Alex! What are you doing? It's okay, Lise. He's just confused. I think it's better I leave. 
I'll see you at the party. Bye, Lise. Alex, why would you do that to Gregory? Why can't you just get along with my brother? Because he... He took you away from me. Huh? I was so worried. I'm not strong or smart and I couldn't protect you. I don't deserve being your boyfriend. Alex, you did find me and you brought me home. Alex, you're my boyfriend and I like you the way you are. Please don't ever change. Yes, all the copies are ready and on your desk. And the agreement documents? Signed and sent out. Excellent. Pyrrhus, have you found anything we can use for the Mammalia case? Although a merger would be the obvious choice, I think with this paragraph in mind, a settlement would be better for our client. This way they will keep 55% of their shares giving them full control of the product. Yes, yes, I think that's the best strategy. Good job. I'm going to discuss it with our client. You really are proving to be a great asset to this firm, Pyrrhus. Thank you. And do you have any plans for this weekend? Um, no, not really. Cyrus has taken me on a motorbike trip, and the curls are getting a fix. Sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Hey, are you actually in a relationship? Or did I already ask that before? Oh, um... He was dating my daughter. They were a lovely couple. Isn't she dating her roommate now? Um, that's just a phase. Wasn't she in love with him for over five years? Phase! Oh, uh, can you make a phone call for me? Harris, again, not your secretary. But Reese, you are so good at this. You have a secretary of your own, so go and ask her. But, but she's so slow. Not my problem. Why did I have to hire a sloth? Good. We were talking about... Ah, she's literally sleeping on her desk right now. Please, Reese, help! Ah, oh, it's always the same with that man. 